Russians receive thousands of dollars for one stolen Ukrainian child. Information campaigns for the return of Ukrainian children deported by Russia are very important. Expert of the Regional Center for Human Rights of Ukraine, Ekaterina Rashevskaya, stated this on the Freedom TV channel. As for the information campaign, this is very correct, and I hope that we will have results and the Russians will start reaching out and saying where the Ukrainian children are. In fact, they have become very difficult to identify. And unfortunately, the international community concludes that it is simply the Russian Federation that has stopped deporting people. But this is not true. The Russian Federation continues to deport and relocate Ukrainian children. This summer alone, more than 7,000 children were taken to so-called re-education camps. This is only what we have been able to identify, she said. The expert noted that it is not known how many of these children were returned home. Rashevskaya emphasized that they could stay in Russia because there is information that the educational process has already been organized for children from the occupied territories in Russian schools. This is a visit to a regular school, that is, these children live there somewhere. It is impossible to hide the movement of thousands of children. Not one, not two. That is, Russian citizens see this and they must understand that this is a crime and everyone who hides this crime is also involved in this, she said. I want to emphasize that for one Ukrainian child, an orphan from Donbass, they give very normal money for a month. This is a thousand dollars to the families who took these children. This is not child trafficking. Selling is figurative, but we need to know who we are dealing with and what they are using for motivation. Such things as illegal, inhuman, inhumane, children suffer, best interests of the child are not what influence the psyche of Russians, Rashevskaya said.